A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Sylvanus, and Timothy, the Church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. I give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father. Knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The words of the Lord. disciples to him with Heteronius, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anybody's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. They handed him a Roman coin. And then, those, then he said to them, Whose image is, is on those inscriptions? They said, Caesar's. And then at that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus invites us to become more aware of the workings of God in all of our life and the events of our life. We should never narrow our vision simply to that which is seen as holy and of God by our church, by our society or by our friends. God transcends all. God is present in all. And in this openness we are still invited to believe that Christ is present in His Church and in the teachings of His Church. The challenge for us today is to see everything that happens as part of God's design. God is God. All things happen according to His design and plan. Even when we rebel, rebel directly against Him, He is able creatively to include our rebellion in His plan and leave us with the possibility of a new good. Even the best of theologians of all traditions have not been able to explain completely 
how our human free will and God's will intersect and act on each other. Faith in God, in Jesus and in Jesus Christ will allow us to see the action of the Holy Spirit in all that happens to us, whether it be from our point of view, good or bad. The Gospel of Matthew today speaks to us about the relationship of Jesus to secular laws. And um, I think that, you know, the most important verse from today's Gospel, you know, is that, you know, when they tried to test Jesus and they showed him the coin and asked this question, whose image is this and whose inscription, you know, Jesus said. So they replied, Caesar's. But why they gave him this coin? To see that he will be politically correct? And we know this word, right? That you know he will be more with God or more like a politic. But Jesus surprised him. He held this coin and he asked, whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar's. So then Jesus said to them, very clear, then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. What this means? I very believe that, you know, this gospel is very important for us, especially when we are just very few weeks before election. That we have to think, you know, uh, making a good decision, that this decision will be not just ours, but also will be God's will. Because sometimes we are thinking just what is good as for human life. It's not enough. Because if our human life decisions will be good for us just here, but will not save our life to be with God in heaven, it's not a good decision. Because then it just can please us, you know, maybe for five minutes, or five days, or even for one year. But if it's just for pleasing, it's not good. So, also, believe me, God is telling about it. And today's gospel is telling about, you know, election voting. Because everything what we are doing, we should think about God. Also why? Because He created our world and He created us. We belong to God. So we cannot just tell that, okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just me. On Sunday, with God. Everything what we are doing, everything we should do with God and for God, both, both ways, with God and for God. So the challenge of the readings today is to keep our eyes open to the presence of God, to be aware that we can make secular things into religious idols and that we are called to be free and loving while we serve God in peace. May God lead us in our daily life. Dear brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. 
that is substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For our, men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered the death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son as the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present our prayers to the Lord, whose kindness and mercy bring hope to all the earth. That God's goodness will be a source of wisdom for all the members of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That God's goodness will be a source of peace for nations, peoples, and communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That God's goodness will be a source of comfort for those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Catholics to cease voting for anyone supporting directly or indirectly the mortal sin of abortion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. O Holy God, we ask you to answer our prayers, for you are merciful and gracious to all your people. Rescue us from whatever could harm us, and crown us with your kindness and compassion in Christ Jesus, both now and forever. Amen.
we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, the God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all of holiness. May it call it there for this gift, sweet pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Ducal, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Okay. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the Euro Church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Peter our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
for your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all of glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior is commanded for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, Deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on the same word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and live spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please have a seat or have parish announcements. The ushers now will take second collection for the world mission. After a successful first week of our youth group this past week, we want to continue our invitation to our young people to join, on, join us Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. 
If you have any questions, please call the office or contact Father Ivan. Soon we will celebrate the solemnity of all saints and all souls' days. For the next two weeks, as every year, you can bring to the office names of deceased family members and will pray for them for all month of November. Also on Sunday, November 1st and on Sunday, November 7th, we will have special adoration for all our departed brothers and sisters and will read all the names given to us by parishioners. Because the large increase in COVID-19 cases in our town, tomorrow Fatima Rosary is cancelled, so we'll be not in the parish hall, but we would like that at 1 p.m., you know, people who would like to participate for this prayer will pray Holy Rosary at home. So we'll be united, you know, it will be connection. Just 1 p.m., you know, please pray for these intentions at home. Next Saturday, October 24th, at Santa Teresa at 2 p.m., will be interfaith prayer rally to end of abortion and to close the abortion clinic. For more information, please contact the parish office. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Go forth and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.